right, Stevenson, tough one, 64-58. They fall tonight to Arcadia with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, your team was down by 18 in the second half. They fought back. They got to within two in the final minute. I know you're not thrilled with the final outcome, but the effort from this group in the second half, I would think you have to be pleased with. I am. Uh, this was our best effort of the year. Um, uh, we're getting better and better. I mean, there were um, uh, a lot of minutes tonight where uh, we had five freshmen on the floor. And, um, and we virtually had all new guys. Uh, we lost Steve Zink in, in practice uh, with uh, some back spasms, so he wasn't able to go. Ryan Hill uh, is still uh, uh, working his way back. Uh, so uh, we're, uh, we're thin on old men. And, and, and so I, I really am pleased with the, the young kids. They, uh, um, they're getting better and better, and, and uh, I'm looking forward to practice tomorrow. One guy in particular in the second half that I thought really gave you a boost was Johnny Rhodes, who, who came in and you know hit some shots and, and played some defense and you know hadn't played the entire game but came in and really gave you a lift. Yeah, you know as a coach you never want to put your your uh, student athletes in in precarious positions and and not playing in the first half and then coming into a game of this magnitude. Johnny handled that really really well and uh, his response kind of invigorated the group and uh, we worked our way back in. And uh, Johnny's a good player. He's one of the reasons why I've said that this team is as deep as uh, um, a unit that we've had since I've been here. You played five games at home, now you got a head on the road. What have you learned about your team? I know, again, the results one and four, you would have liked a couple more victories in the process. But what have you learned about your team already that you think they're going to take with them as they now head on the road? Well, I mean, make no mistake, we're still Stevenson. You know, and. Uh, we've always been a very good road team. Uh, I, I expect uh, that to continue. Uh, we've got some tough-minded kids, and um, their concentration and focus will be appropriate for, for the task at hand. There's three possessions when you're down by four, and you got three chances with the ball. I'm sure you won't ever think about those three ever again, right? I'm sure those won't eat at you at all. Yeah, uh, a little bit of life just left. Uh, <laughs> uh, if I was going to live to a certain date, I, I uh, cashed in a couple weeks to, uh, on those possessions. It, it was a tough lineup because uh, um, a lot of those kids play the same spot, and so uh, we had to go to a little bit more of a motion type of an offense, and we stood around and watched. But we had some good opportunities. We got to the basket. Um, uh, we had a transition opportunity um, that we'll live with. Michael uh, Bird had a good shot and a good look at it. Just didn't go in. That's part of our, part of the game. And and um, uh, Tim came down and and um, got one right there, point blank range. We we like that. Uh, we we want him to continue to work um, to get those type of opportunities. He's a talented guy, and uh, we'll, we'll live with the results. Coach, best of luck as you head out on the road. We'll see you back here next Saturday. Thank you. I'm Glenn Clark with Gary Stewart for GoMustangSports.com.